Cultural intelligence is an absolutely fascinating area in organisations and people often think it's around things like business etiquette, but in fact it's so much more than that. There are actually three main aspects to cultural intelligence. There's knowledge, there's being mindful, and then there are also the behaviours. Now, if you're able to develop somebody's skill in all of those three areas, then you're developing a genuinely culturally intelligent individual and a culturally intelligent organisation around them. There are lots of multinational organisations out there who tend to think that they are culturally intelligent simply because they operate in lots of different parts of the world and because they have lots of employees from different national backgrounds. However, those two don't necessarily go hand in hand. In fact, we see a lot of culturally unintelligent behaviour in organisations where people haven't really paid attention to it. So what we're really looking to do is to help people understand what organisations can do to become more culturally intelligent, as well as how they can help their team leaders, their managers and individuals within the organisation be really intelligent when they're interacting with people from different backgrounds. There are quite a few uh, cultural intelligence mistakes that we see in organisations today. Just to name a couple, there's a tendency to continue to manage teams that are globally remote as though everyone's still co-located within one office or one area um, and not showing very much flexibility around that at all. There's another one which is around recognising that there are national differences but then still assuming that everybody is going to fit in with how you want to run things. And that's one of the big reasons why we see organisations being described as UK-centric, for example, where we recognise that people from different countries will behave differently, but we still want them to do things in a quintessentially British way. In order to develop cultural intelligence, there are three different levels that we need to focus on. Firstly, the big picture organisational level. What is it that organisations can do in order to set up teams for success if they're going to be culturally intelligent in the way that they operate? And that will be things such as communications, providing enough time around project teams for them to get to know each other better, all of those things to create the right culture. The second level is around project leaders and team leaders. And what is it that they can do in order to manage time zones effectively, to make sure that the different cultural variations within the team are being accommodated, for example. So that's all about their knowledge, their awareness, but critically about embedding that behaviour as well. The third level, of course, is individuals themselves. And that's helping them to recognise the impact of their own cultural values on other people when they need to flex their style a little bit. Organisations that are able to work on those three levels are genuinely much more culturally intelligent and that's where we need to get to. So if you're interested in finding out a bit more about how you can make your organisation culturally intelligent, drop me an email using the link below or give me a call.